Hi, ready to add materials and colors to a price list? Adding materials and colors for the first time or editing an existing price list involves the same steps. From the left side, click on Price Lists, then the name of the price list to modify. If you're just getting started, use the retail price list built into your database. We encourage users to start with only one price list, since each one needs to be manually updated. Enter your highest prices and use discounts when appropriate. Discounts can be applied to individual accounts to be automatically applied, or they can be added manually when quoting. Click on the Edit Price List button on the right in order to make changes. You'll see the navigation moves over to the left, and an indicator in the upper corner lets you know you're making changes to the price list. Select Materials, then Add Material. There are two options for adding material. Built-in, which has some of the most common materials and colors preloaded, and Custom. Adding a custom material allows you to enter materials that might not be in that preloaded list. I'll select a built-in material, then Countergo will fill in the material type and a default slab size. Type directly into either field to change. Let's take a look at some options you can set. Allow Other Colors lets you add colors to a specific quota order without adding them to the price list. Allow Discount will let you apply discounts to this material when using it in a quote. Edit Price on Quote means you can manually override the price in an individual quote. Next is the list of preloaded colors. Add or delete colors from this list, and CounterGo will alphabetize the colors as long as they are added one per line. Colors can also be added to the price list after adding a material. If the material is taxable, select the tax code TAX. This indicates that the item is taxable. Tax rates are set for an entire price list under Settings, in Accounts, or while quoting. Click on a material from the left submenu then click Add Colors to add a new color to an existing material. Type in names or copy and paste from a file or spreadsheet, one name per line. To remove a color, click on the Delete icon, it looks like a little trash can, across from a specific color. Check out the CounterGo knowledge base for more articles and videos. If you have questions or would like to chat with one of our friendly CounterGo experts, Email support at moreaware.com. Thanks for stopping by.